Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. This is the 18th project video in our machine learning project series and in this video we are going to discuss how we can build a movie recommendation system in Python. This is one of my personal favorite applications of machine learning and I hope that you are interested as well to learn about this. Here we will create a system in Python where a user can give the name of his favorite movie and based on this input we are going to recommend certain movies to him and this is what we are trying to accomplish in this particular project okay so first of all in this video i'll explain you what are the different types of recommendation systems that we have and after that let's discuss about the workflow that we are going to follow for this project and then we can move on to the hands-on part where we will try to build this movie recommendation system in python okay so let's get started so most of us are familiar with the OTT platforms like Netflix, Prime Video, Hotstar, etc. And in the recent years, these OTT platforms have been used extensively by a lot of different people, right? And the main reason for this is these platforms and apps knows what kind of movies and series each user likes. So it tries to analyze uh, the user's watching pattern and it tries to recommend movies to them. And this is one of the main reasons why these, uh, you know, OTT platforms have been used a lot. And... Uh, now we need to understand how these apps can do this and the main reason behind this is they have their own recommendation systems okay so when we talk about recommendation systems there are three main types first is content based recommendation system second one is popularity based and the third one is collaborative type uh, recommendation system okay so let's try to understand about all these three uh, recommendation systems and these recommendation systems uh, are made using several machine learning concepts and techniques okay so this is uh, one of the main applications of machine learning which we need to be aware of so let's try to understand each of this uh, each different types of this recommendation system so first is the content based so the content based system promotes movies or uh, you know recommends movies to a user based on the content of the film that they have watched before say for example a person is watching multiple superhero movies now this uh, kind of content based recommendation system will uh, you know recommend more of superhero based movies to him and uh, let's say that if some other person is uh, watching some movies which is related to space and other things then uh, this content based recommendation system will mainly recommend recommend them you know space related movies and so on so this system is completely based on the content of the movie and its story and so on and the second type is popularity based recommendation system so this kind of system recommends which uh, movie or series has been very popular so in netflix there is an uh, you know column called as top 10 movies in india and top 10 movies of all time and such kind of things so it is completely based on popularity and uh, popularity you know basically increases if more number of uh, people watches those kind of films okay so that is the popularity based recommendation system which mainly relies on uh, what is the popularity of films and what is the popularity of the actors acted in the movie directors and so on okay and the third one is collaborative recommendation system and this type of recommendation system groups people based on their watching pattern let's say that there is a group of people and uh, this certain group of people are uh, you know watching similar kind of movie but these uh, people doesn't know each other this is the data collected by these kind of apps so let's say that okay so these group of people watch some kind of movies and now let's say this there is a new user and he watches one or two movies which are watched by those group of people now the system knows that this group of people and this new user has a similar taste so this new user will be recommended movies which were wa watched by those people okay so this is how collaborative recommendation system works where the system will try to recommend movies based on the watching pattern of an individual based on some previous data it, it has collected from the other individuals okay so these are the three main types of recommendation system where content based mainly uses the content and the story and other things which are similar to the movies a uh, user has seen and the popularity uh, based system is mainly uh, based on uh, what is uh, the popularity and how much popular a movie is and so on and the third one is collaborative where uh, the system uh mainly focuses on the user's behavior and the user's watching pattern and so on okay so in this we will try to incorporate content based and a certain amount of popularity based uh, recommendation system okay so while building the system we will try to incorporate the things such as uh, the title of the movie the cast director and the, what is uh, you know the theme of the movie and so on so that's what we are going to do in this particular video now let's try to understand what is the workflow which we are going to follow for this project. So first is uh, data collection. So we need to have the data of these movies and uh, several details about them. Okay, so we need to uh, have the details such as who is the director, what is the genre of the movie and uh, what is the description of the movie and so on. Okay, so that will be our data. So once we collect this data, 
we need to process this data so we, we have to clean this data if there are any missing values and so on so that part will be our data pre-processing step and this is our second step okay and the next step will be feature extraction so the main thing about this movie's data set is that all the data will be in the form of text right so this is an example of a textual data because uh, this data contains the name of the movies name of the people acted in it etc and we cannot use this data directly so we need to convert these uh, textual data into numerical values to you know to be precise we will convert them into feature vectors and this is the process for it so we will do feature extraction on this movies data set in order to convert them into numerical values so after that uh, you know we will try to find the similarity score between the movies okay so let's say that we have about 5000 movies in our data set and we will try to find which movies are similar to each other by you know giving them a similarity score or we can call this as a, a similarity confidence score so once we do that we will uh, you know ask the user to give an input so now the user will uh, you know give the name of their favorite movie and based on this data and based on this input we are going to suggest them which uh, movies they can watch and for this we are going to use uh, you know something called as cosine similarity and this cosine similarity algorithm is used in order to find the similarity between the vectors so here we are just uh, converting each movies into a kind of a vector and we will try to find the similarity between them using this cosine similarity okay so when a user uh, gives a movie name we will try to compare that uh, movie and we will just try to find which movies are similar to the one given by the user now we will get a list of uh, movies and we can now suggest this list of movies to our user okay so this is what we are going to do so first we will collect our data and then we, we uh, have to process the data and after that we need to convert them into meaningful numerical values called as feature vectors and uh, and then we will try to find the similarity between them using the cosine similarity algorithm and once we have done that we are going to uh, you know get input from uh, the user and uh, based on this input we will try to find which movies are similar uh, to the one given by the user because we already have the data from this uh, particular data Set, right? so we will uh, look in this data set and then we will suggest the list of movies a user may like okay so this is what we are going to do and the one thing that you need to understand here is we don't use uh, any machine learning models here i mean we can use a machine learning model with this cosine similarity but in this case we are just going to use this cosine similarity alone because you know it yields a better result in this case so uh, this is cosine similarity is also one of the main things you need to understand because this is very much helpful in order to find the relationship between different data points okay so you may also use this in uh, other applications as well so let's try to understand how we can apply this so let's get started with the hands on part now i just go to my google collaboratory so i hope everyone is aware about this google collaboratory if you are not sure about how to use google collaboratory i have already made a video explaining how you can access this and what are the different features of it i'll give the link of that video in the icards you can check that out okay so you can see the files option here so here I, have, here I have already uploaded my data set file which is movies.csv so you can find this upload option here or you can just right click here and you will find this upload option from this you can upload the data set file I give the link of this particular data set file in the description of this video you can download it from here so the first thing that we are going to do is import the dependencies so the dependencies are nothing but the libraries and the functions that we need so I'll just make a text here as importing the dependencies so first of all i'll import numpy library so import numpy as np and uh, import pandas as pd so we know that numpy library is used in order to create numpy arrays and we are importing numpy in the in the short form as np and we are importing pandas in the short form as pd so pandas is used to create pandas data frame the data frames are nothing but structured table so the data that we have is in the form of a comma separated value and uh, it's not easy to analyze and process the data from a csv file so we uh, load this data from the csv file to a pandas data frame which is a more structured form of a table where we can do some analysis and processing on it okay so these are the first two libraries that we need and next we are going to import diffleb library so the purpose of this is as i told you before once we complete the code we need to get the name of uh, you know the uh, name of a movie from a user so the user has to give the name of their favorite movie and we need to uh, you know recommend movies based on those movies so here there is a possibility that the user can make some mistakes on the movie name right so there can be some spelling mistakes or other things so we need to find 
what is the close match of the movie name given by the user so we need to take the value given by the user which is nothing but the movie name and we need to compare it with the data set that we have so this data set contains a list of movies okay so there will be around 5000 different movies so we need to compare uh, with all those uh, movie names and uh, find which movie is the closest to the one uh, which is uh, given by the user and for that purpose we need this diff lib library so you will understand why we are implementing this for now just understand that it is used to create you know get the closest match of the some value and now i am going to import the vectorizer function from sklearn dot feature extraction dot text import df idf vectorizer so in our previous video where we have uh, tried to build a spam mail prediction system in that we have used this uh, tf idf vectorizer which is used to convert the textual data into numerical values numerical values in the sense feature vectors okay and uh, we are going to do the same in this case also as we have a lot of textual data such as uh, the title of the movie director name cast name etc right so it is in the form of text so this data will be in the form of text and we need to convert it to uh, meaningful numbers which are our feature vectors and for that we need to use this tf idea vectorizer and the last thing that we need is from sklearn dot metrics dot pairwise let's import cosine similarity so as i have explained to you before we need to find the similarity confidence score of all the movies and we will do that by using this cosine similarity if you use this cosine similarity it will give some similarity score for all the different movies compared to the other movies and we are going to use this similarity score in order to recommend it so let's say that uh, uh, the user is giving some movie name and we need to find the similarity score of that particular movie with all the other movies and we have to find which movies has the highest similarity score so sim highest similarity score means those movies are similar and we are going to recommend those movies and that is the purpose we need this cosine similarity function so first we are importing numpy and pandas library and then the diff lib library in order to get the most uh, closest match to the name of the movie given by the user from our data set and then we are uh, using this tf idea vectorizer in order to convert the textual data into numerical values and finally we have this cosine similarity which is the most important part in this code okay so the next thing which we are going to do is data collection and processing so I'll just put a text here as data collection and uh, pre-processing. So you can download the data set from this video description. I'll give the link for it. So you can also search Google uh, for this particular data set. So you can go to uh, Google da data set search and you can uh, find this data set there. Or I think it is also available in Kaggle. I'm not sure about this, but I'll give the link for this particular data set. So now what we are going to do is we are going to load the data from the csv file to a pandas data frame so that is our next step so i'll just make a text here as loading the data from the csv file to a pandas data frame so i'll name this data frame as movies data so movies data is equal to pd dot read csv so this read csv function will load the data from the, the csv file so the csv file is nothing but this movies.csv to uh, this data frame called as movies data and we need to put uh, the opening and closing quotes here and within this we need to paste the path of this particular file so if you go to this files option so you will find this options menu here so from this you can copy the path of this particular file and paste that in you know within this quotes so this will load the data from the csv file to the data frame and this data frame is nothing but movies data now what we are going to do is look at the sample of this data set sample is nothing but we are going to look at the first five rows of the data frame in order to understand what is the different uh, columns that we have in our data set so this will be about printing the first five rows of the data frame okay so mention the data frame name which is movies data dot yet so this yet function will print the first five rows of the data frame so this is what we have so each line or each row represents one movie and uh, we have different columns here so first is the index column so index is nothing but the serial number for all this movie and next we have a budget so what is the budget of the movie and the next one is genre so some people call this as genre some people 
call this as genre so that's not our concern for now so i'll just call this as genre okay so genre is nothing but what is the theme of the movie so you can see the uh, you know it takes like action adventure fantasy science fiction etc so the first movie that we have is avatar so you can see the title here so most of us would have seen the avatar movie right so it is nothing but some uh, alien war kind of a thing so they go to a planet called as pandora where they try to fight with uh, the avatars there and uh, you can see the genre here so it is an action movie and it is an adventure kind of movie science fiction and so on so this contains this uh, third column so first is the index column second is budget so this third column contains what is the theme of the movie which is nothing but the, its genre and then we have the home page home page is nothing but the official site where you can watch the movie and so on and then we have some id for the movie okay so the other columns that we have are so let's try to look at uh, all the columns and try to understand what they are and then then we have the keywords keywords is nothing but these words tell you uh, you know it kind of tell you the idea of about what the movie is like so for avatar movie we have the keywords such as culture clash future space war etc and the, this movie is based on these factors right so this keywords contains some uh, words which kind of represents that movie and then we have the original language so what is the language that the movie has been made and then we have the original title so the first movie that we have is avatar and the second movie is pirates of the caribbean and so on so we have different movies okay so fourth is nothing but the dark knight rises john carter etc so next is the overview overview is nothing but uh, some general description of the movie it is like the plot of the movie okay and then we have the popularity score so popularity score tells you how much popular a movie is if the popularity score is high then it means that the movie is very popular okay so we have the popularity score for all the individual movies and then we have production companies so all the columns are self explanatory you can just to read this column name and you can understand what it basically means so what is the company that has uh, produced that particular film and what is the country of that particular production house and then we have the release date here and then we have the revenue so this column represents what is the revenue that the movie has generated and then we have the run time the duration of the movie and then we have the spoken languages so what is the languages that has been spoken in the movie and the status status is nothing but whether the movie is released or not so the other columns that we have are tagline okay so tagline is also similar to you know each movie as a tagline so if you uh, you know look at this avatar it's enter the world of pandora so pandora is nothing but the planet where uh, you know everything happens in that avatar movie okay and uh, the tagline for the second movie so the second movie is pirates of the caribbean so at the end of the world the adventure begins okay so it is like a, a tagline for each movie so each movie has its own tagline and uh, and then we have the title of the movie okay so the first is avatar pirates of the caribbean so and so on and then we have vote average vote is nothing but the movie's rating okay so movie's rating out of 10 and then we have the vote count so how many votes are there for all this uh, votes so and then we have the cast so cast is nothing but the actors who have acted in that particular movie and then we have the crew so crew is nothing but what is the team that has acted here so who is the cameraman editor and so on and finally we have the director names so now out of these columns we won't be using all the columns but we will be using some most relevant uh, data that we need for our recommendation okay so we need to choose the features or the columns specific for our problem so that will be our next step but before going to that i just wanted to look at how many rows and columns that are there in my data set okay so now i just wanted to find the number of rows and columns in my data set so number of rows and columns in the data frame so mention the data frame name which is movies data dot shape so this will tell you the total number of rows and columns you have so the first value tells the total number of rows and the second value tells the total number of columns so 4803 represents we have totally 4803 rows and each row represents each movie okay so totally we have 4800 different movies and uh, 24 represents different columns so totally we had about 24 columns and not we are not going to use all the columns here so that is not necessary but we are going to use some uh, most relevant columns so that will be our next step so this is selecting the relevant features for recommendation okay so this step can also be called as feature selection so i'll create a list here called the selected features 
and in the selected features i'm going to mention certain columns that i'm going to need okay so i'm going to choose a particular set of columns so i'm, I'm not going to take all the columns but certain columns that we need so as i've told you before this recommendation system will be slightly a content based and popularity based recommendation system so i'll be using the columns such as uh, the genre of the movie so if you want to build a content based you need this genre right so uh, genre of the movie and then we will be taking uh, taking the keywords of the movie and what is its title and so on so i'm going to take the genre keywords title and uh, we can also take the tagline okay so what is the tagline of the movie and finally we can take the cast and director of the movie so these are the things that i'm going to need so i'm going to choose five columns one is uh, the movie's genre the keywords of the movie tagline cast and directors okay so it's not that you have to choose these features alone these columns alone so that is not the case you can choose any columns you want but it should be relevant to your recommendation system i'm just uh, choosing these five columns so one main thing is you need to mention the column names within this list so you need to just copy the words from here and paste it so these words should be accurate okay so there shouldn't be any spelling mistakes in these words so mention all the columns that you need so first i'll include my genre and then i'm going to include keywords and tagline cast and finally i'm going to take director so the reason i'm taking cast and director is that let's say that a person is a fan of robert downey jr and uh, there is more likely that that person is going to watch uh, a movie which is acted by robert downey jr right so cast and director is one main thing that we can use for our recommendation say for example some people can be the fan of the director christopher nolan and if you suggest the movie is directed by christopher nolan they are most probably going to see that movie so that is the reason i'm taking cast and director and then we have the contents such as the genre of the movie keywords taglines and etc so you can also take uh, the overview of the movie so overview is nothing but the movie's plot right so you can also take that but now i'm not going to take this i'm just going to take these five features alone so if you want you can also take more features which are relevant to build your recommendation system so this is the list and i'll just print this list for some reference okay selected features so i have named this list as selected features as i'm selecting all these features so totally i have five okay so there is some mistake here yeah if we so these are the five features that we have okay genre keyword tagline cast and director now what we are going to do is uh, in my previous video also i have explained you that textual data contains a lot of missing values called as null values and we need to replace this with null string okay and now we are going to do that but we don't need to do that for all the columns because we don't need all the columns right we just need uh, these five columns alone so i'm going to show you how you can replace the you know null values with null string in this four uh, columns alone so i'm going to use a for loop for this so this step is replacing the missing values or the null values with null string okay so let's create a for loop here in order to go through each column individually so i'll name this as for feature in selected feature movies data set so i'll just complete this for loop and explain you what i'm doing feature is equal to movies data and uh, feature dot fill in me so what we are basically doing is we are creating a for loop and in this for loop what we are doing is we are uh, replacing the null values with this null string so null string is nothing but an empty string so that's why i haven't mentioned anything within this uh, within this quotes okay so for feature in selected features so i'm going to run a for loop within the selected features list so we know that the selected features list contains uh, the values such as genre keyword tagline cast director etc right so each time the for loop will take one values so the first time the for loop runs it will take this genre value and after the for loop is completed once the second time it will take the value keywords okay and after the tagline and so on so let's say that uh, while uh, the for loop is running for the first time this feature will take the value genre okay so this is nothing but for genre in selected features so now is like just think about replacing this feature with this genre okay so it, it will be like movies data 
genre so in that uh, particular column so movies data genre is nothing but this column okay the third column and in that column we are going to replace all the missing values with null string okay so fill na so na means not available or missing values so we are going to fill those values with null string so the, that's what we are doing so once the for loop is completed for once and now this word feature will take the value keyword because that is the second value in the selected features list okay so this is a simple for loop i hope you are understanding this particular thing so each time this feature will take uh, each value and each time it will uh, replace all the missing values with null string in each of these columns in the movies data set so we have mentioned the data frame name so we know that we have named the data frame as movies data right so we are taking the movies data and we are uh, representing features so feature is nothing but uh, all the name of these columns individually and we are replacing this with null string so i'll run this so this will replace all the missing values now what we are going to do is we are going to combine all these columns so if you take this first uh, movie avatar so the genre keywords movie's title cast and director so all the data will be combined together so similarly all the rows will be combined together in their respective columns uh, if you think about pirates of the caribbean so we will put together this genre column it is adventure fantasy action and then this keyword so this keyword uh, genre and uh, the title of the movie cast and director so all this will be combined together so that's what we are going to do now so this is combining all the five selected feature okay so let's create a variable as combined features and within this we are going to combine all the relevant features the five features that we have chosen okay so here we need to mention uh, the data frame name so because we are going to take the data from the data frame right so mention the data frame name and within the square brackets you need to mention the column name so the first column name is nothing but uh, the genre so the genre of the movie and the second one is so just a second so we need to combine all those so you can just add this uh, addition symbol so you just add this plus mark and you can just add a space here and then again add the next column so the next column is nothing but um, genre keywords so i'll mention this keywords so we just need to add three more uh, columns right so plus movies data it's the same thing again and again you just need to mention the column names separately so movies data the third column is my uh, tagline mm, yeah tagline and then i'm going to include my movies data cast and finally we have the last column which is director movies data director okay so one second so what we are doing is we are just combining all the uh, data here so this is just like uh, concatenating two strings concatenating is nothing but joining different strings right so all these are strings because these are text so i'm uh, creating a, a variable called as combine feature and in this uh, variable i am storing all the combine features so i am taking this genre column and i am concatenating it with uh, the keyword tagline cast and director column so we are just combining all the features together okay so i'll run this so so there are no errors now you can try and print your combined features okay so i'll just run this so now it will contain uh, the, the number of rows will be the same right because we are just uh, combining all the columns so this first row will contain uh, the genre of the avatar movie keywords of the avatar movie tagline cast and director all the things of avatar movie similarly the second line uh, will contain the genre keyword tagline cast and director of the pirates of the caribbean movie so we are just combining all the text and data together uh, respective of each film okay so this is our next step now what we are going to do is we are going to convert this textual data to feature vectors okay or in other words we are going to convert them into numerical values so this step will be converting the text data to feature vectors so the reason we are doing here is 
doing this particular task is uh, we cannot find the cosine value this is cosine similarity value easily with the text data but if you have a numerical data you can easily find the cosine similarity value and that is the reason we are converting it using this uh, vectorizer function so we are going to use this tf idf vectorizer in order to convert the text in uh, to uh, you know numerical values so let's do it now so if you want to know more about this uh, text to numerical data conversion and about this TFID vectorizer, uh, I'll give the link for that video as well. I have already made the video on that topic. You can refer that one. So vectorizer. So I'm just creating an instance of this TFID vectorizer. And uh, yeah, so you need to mention this parenthesis here. Now we need to fit and transform the data. So I'll run this and I'll create a variable as feature vector feature vectors and feature vectors is equal to vectorizer dot fit transform and within the bracket you need to mention combined features so what we are basically trying to do is so we know that we have imported the tfid vectorizer right so we have imported it from uh, sklearn dot feature extraction dot text so i am loading this tfid vectorizer to an instance called as vectorizer Okay, so I'm just using this vectorizer instead of using this TF. It's 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 basically the same. I am loading this TF idea vectorizer into this vectorizer variable, and I'm going to use this vectorizer in order to fit and transform the data. Now, what happens is, so I am mentioning feature vector. So I'm creating another variable called as feature vector, and this is where I'm going to store all the numerical values now. So um, I'm calling this vectorizer, which is nothing but my TF idea, and I'm fitting and transforming all the data. So which data I'm transforming here is the combined features, right? So the combined features is nothing but the combination of all the columns that we have in our data set so this will transform uh, the data to numerical values which are nothing but a feature vector so it will be stored in this variable and now let's try to print this so print feature vectors okay so this is how your data would look like so the data which looked previously like this is converted to this okay so this data is nothing but your combined features and i we are fitting and transforming this combined feature to this fe you know feature vector so that's what we are doing and this is how you can convert the, the textual data in order to uh, numerical data so whenever you are using some machine learning models also we don't uh, feed the textual data directly so we will convert them to feature vectors and then we will uh, feed the data to our machine learning model okay so this is one of the common steps that we do with the textual data and the next step is the most important one which is uh, to find the similarity score so for this we are going to use the cosine similarity which we have discussed before so cosine similarity i'll make a text here then so also make a comment here as getting the similarity score you can also call this a similarity confidence value okay so i'll just call this as similarity score getting the similarity scores using cosine similarity So we have imported this cosine similarity function right previously from sklearn.matrix.parry. So we have imported this cosine similarity and I'm going to use this function now. So let's store all the similarity score. A similarity score is nothing but you will get some score value, some numerical score value for all the different movies. So I'll store all the values in the list. Okay, so similarity is equal to cosine similarity the function which we have imported and here you need to mention for which you need to find this uh, cosine similarity so it is nothing but your feature vectors feature vector is nothing but uh, we have converted the textual data into numerical values right so i have stored all the values in my feature vectors and now i'm going to feed this to my cosine similarity now this cosine similarity function will go through all these uh, values and it will try to find which uh, you know values are similar to each other and the end result is that it can find which movies are related to each other so that's the idea so you are going Going to convert the textual data into numerical uh, values which are your feature vectors and then you are going to find the similarity score value using the cosine similarity okay so let's run this and now you can print and see your similarity value okay so this is the similarity value of all your uh, movies so you can also print the shape similarity dot shape okay so 4803 so this is nothing but uh, first is the index the movies index and second value represents its uh, similarity score so totally we have 4803 so what it basically means is like uh, for each movie 
we will compare it with uh, all the other movies say for example let's take this avatar movie so how this poseidon similarity works is it will take this avatar movie and it will try to compare it with all the other movies that are there in this data set and it will, it will try to give a similarity score value and then this will be uh, carried out for all the other movies as well so first once the avatar is over then it will try to find the same for the pirates of the caribbean movie it will try, try to take this uh, movie and try to find the similarity score uh, by comparing it with all the other movies so this will be uh, done for all the movies and you will get a, an array like this which is 4803 so you will get some value and this value represents what is uh, you know how much similar a movie is to other movie okay so that's what is represented by this now what we can do is so as we have the similarity score now we can ask the user to give an input now the user has to give uh, the name of his favorite movie so once he has given it what we will do is we will try to uh, find whether that movie is present in this particular data set so if it is present in that particular data set we will try to uh, find which movies are similar to it using the similarity score which we have found okay so you will understand once i am you know implementing this so this part will be getting the movie name getting the movie name from the user okay so i'll name this as movie name so this value has, has to be given by the user is equal to so in order to get some value from the user you can use this input function right in python so this is just like a scan of function in c programming okay so enter your favorite movie name and this this is favorite movie name okay so i'll run this now we need to uh, give the name of our favorite movie in this particular bar okay so i'll name this as iron man so i'll say that iron man is my favorite movie now we need to write the code which can uh, get the similarity score of iron man with all the other movies and it will uh, it has to give me a list of movies so that will be our next part so now uh, i just need to create a list which contains all the names of the movies so this part is creating a list with all the movies the movie names given in the data set so if you don't follow or if you don't understand what we are uh, doing here it's completely fine because it, it it's hard to understand the order we are doing it so once i complete the code i'll uh, explain you clearly what are the steps that we are doing here just hang in there okay so creating a list with all the movies given in the data set so here what i want to do is I, I'm going to create a list and this list will contain all the name of the movies that is present in this data set. So I just want this uh, movie name alone. So you can see this title here. So we have this title, right? So title of the movie and I'm, I'm going to take this column alone. So the reason I'm taking the name of the movies is I want to compare it with the value given by the user. Okay. So that's the reason I'm creating this list. So list of all titles. So list of all titles is equal to mention the data frame movies data and uh, we want to take the title column alone so dot to list so this will take all the values and it will uh, create a list so that's the reason for using this to list uh, function okay so let's uh, also print this print list of all titles okay so now this list will contain the names of all the movies that is present in our data set okay so all the 4803 movie names so the reason we are doing here doing the particular reason is we need to uh, find the best match for the value given by the user so we need to check whether this value is present in this uh, particular data set okay so this part will be finding the close match for the movie name given by the user so as i've told you in order to get this uh, best match we need to use this df uh, diff lib right so what we will basically do is take this iron man value the value which is given by uh, the user and we will compare it with compare it individually with all the values in this particular list so we know that this list contains uh, the name of the movies right so we need to do that now 
so find a close match so i name this as find a close match is equal to diffflip which we have imported before and this library contains uh, the function called as get close match and uh, movie name list of all titles okay so as i have told you so once we get the name of the movie from the user we need to compare it with uh, the list of all the other movies present in our data set so we are just uh, you know comparing those values so we need to find whether that particular movie is present in the list this list is nothing but all the movies that are present in our data set okay so now i'll also print this close match uh, okay so let, let's let's print this print find close match okay okay so these are the close match so totally you get three values or three film names so basically what we are doing is we are getting uh, the name of the movie from the user and then we are comparing it with uh, the movies present in our data set so we find out that there are totally three movies which are very close to the name of the movie given by the user so iron man iron man 3 and iron man 2 okay so the three parts of the iron man movie basically now what we are going to do is take the first uh, value alone because we just want to one movie now and after that we will try to compare which movies are similar to this iron man movie so as you can see here this find close match uh, turns out to be a list right and we are going to take the first column of this list alone so we you know let's mention close match i just want only one value i don't want these three values i just want only one match okay so close match is equal to the first uh, value in this list so the list name is find close match and mention zero so find close match zero is nothing but the first value in this list so you can now print this close match so print close match okay so this will print this iron man alone okay so what we are doing is we are comparing uh, the value given by the user with all the movie names and we are uh, getting some close matches and we it turns out that there are totally three movies which is similar to the one given by the user and we are taking the first value alone first value is nothing but the most uh, you know relevant or most similar movie name which is iron man and uh, i am taking that value alone so i am printing the first value in that list and it turns out that it is iron man now what we need to do is find the index of the movie so you will understand why we are doing it just you know just wait for some time so this part is find finding the index of the movie with title so using this title i am going to uh, look for its index so i will locate this title in this uh, column and i am uh, uh, going to find the index of the movie okay so yeah you can see the index error so i'm going to find the index of the movie based on the title so uh, that will be the next step in our code so i name this as index of the movie is equal to movies data dot title is equal to close match so close match is nothing but iron man in this case so close match index dot value zero okay now we can print this index print index of the movie so what i'm going to do is so i got the close match as iron man now i'm going to take this iron man and i'm going to check which uh, particular row as this iron man so i will compare it with this uh, title column okay so I, I will go through this title column and i will see what is the index of the movie let's say that the iron man is in the fourth column so there will there will be iron man here and i will find the corresponding index value so i want this index value so that i can find the similarity score later so that's the reason for finding this index uh, value so basically what we are doing is we are taking this close match value and i'm going to find the index i'm going to store it in this particular variable called as index of the movie so i'm uh, taking this data frame which is movies data dot title so in this title 
I am checking for close match. So close match is in this case it is Iron Man, right? And I'm for that I'm going to take the index value. So this is basically like what I've explained before. So you have to locate the name of the movie here. So once you locate it, you will find the corresponding index value from here. So that's what we are doing here in this particular step. So again, it will be in the form of a list. That's why we are mentioning zero. So zero will be will give you the actual uh, index of the value. So there is some error here. Close match. Mm. One second. Movies data dot title. <coughs> ah, okay. So you should mention again. Movies data. Yeah. I think it will work fine now. Let's see. Yeah, so we got the index value as 68. So this is how you can find the index uh, of the particular movie using its title. Okay. So now I'm going to take this index value and find the similar movies. So we can do that because we have this similarity score. So this similarity score will contain the index and its a similarity score value. And I'm going to take it from here. So this will be getting a list of similar movies. Getting a list of similar movies and we are going to find it based on the index value similar movies so similarity score is equal to list enumerate i'll explain you what this means in just a second enumerate similarity index of the movie Okay, so similarity. Yeah, so similarity is nothing but your similarity score value, right? So I'm uh, taking this as similarity score, a uh, list enumerate similarity score as index of the movie. So index of the movie is 68. So what we are doing here is I'm taking this movie, this Iron Man movie, and I'm going to find the similarity score of all the movies in my data set. I'm going to, uh, you know, find that value. So uh, the movies which are similar to this Iron Man value will have a year similarity score value. So the movies which are not relevant to the Iron Man movie won't have any similarity, you know, have a very small similarity score value. So that's uh, the uh, idea in this. And enumerate is nothing but this enumerate is, uh, is just used to run a loop in a particular list. So the loop or the iteration that we are doing here is we want to find uh, the similarity score for for all the movies right so we don't want to do that individually so we are creating a loop and uh, for that we can use this enumerate so enumerate is bas basically used to carry out a loop in a list and also we want to get the index of uh, index not the index and the uh, counting of that particular loop I i'll just run this and explain you so now you can print this similarity score okay so what this basically outputs is, yeah, you can see here 0, 0 0.033, 1, 0 0.054 and so on. So here what we have is the first value represents the index of the movie and one represents, uh, yeah, I mean the first value represents the index of the movie, this 0, this 1, 2, 3, etc. So these values represents the movie's index and this value represents the similarity score of the movie compared to the Iron Man movie. Okay, so if you just come here. Yeah, so the first movie is Avatar. So the similarity score of Iron Man and Avatar is uh, 0 0.0335. So on the second movie has a similarity index of 0 0.54. So if you come here, the second movie is Pirates of the Caribbean. So the similarity score, that is the similarity between the Pirates of the Caribbean movie and the Iron Man movie is 0. Um, you know, 0, 5, 4, 6, etc. Like if there is uh, movies like Iron Man uh, 2 and Iron Man 3, Captain America, these kind of superhero movies, the uh, index value will be very high. Okay, so this is how we can get the uh, similarity score of movies of a specific movie. So we are taking this movies alone. So if you give uh, Avatar, then this particular similarity score will change. So we are taking only one movie and we are getting the similarity score of uh, all the movies present there. Okay. So this will totally contain five, you know, 4,803 values. So length, similarity. So, so this will contain 
you know, 4803 value. So what this means is we are uh, finding the similarity score of all the movies that are present in the data set. So that's why this contains this many uh, movies. But we don't want all this, right? So we want only the movies which has uh, higher similarity score values. So that will be our next step. So once we find those values which have uh, higher similarity scores, we can recommend those movies to the user. So that will be the last step of our code. Now we need to start to this. So this is in the order of the data set, right? So uh, this particular a similarity score is in the order of this data set so avatar pirates of the caribbean etc now we need to sort this based on the higher similarity score value to the lower similarity score value so that we can uh, recommend the movies with higher similarity score values to the user so th that is the next step so this is sorting the movies based on their similarity score So I'll create a list as sorted similar movies So sorted is a function that you have in Python in order to sort or arrange uh, the elements of a list and so on So I'm going to sort this similarity score list. So this is nothing but a list value. Okay, so this list contains multiple values and uh, This represent one element of the similarity score list similarity score and I'm going to use a lambda function here. I'll explain you what this means. Lambda x is to x of 1. And uh, reverse is equal to true. Okay. And now we can print our sorted similar movies. Okay, so what we are doing is we are going to sort. Sort is nothing but we are going to arrange the movies from higher similarity score value to the lower similarity score value. It's nothing but the descending order and that's why we have used this reverse parameter. Okay, so reverse is equal to true will tell you that I want to arrange the values from the um, decrease from the you know uh, descending order simply descending order higher value to lower value and now you can find this key lambda x is to x is to 1. So we are taking this uh, particular list which is similarity score list and I am uh, taking a key here. The key is nothing but x is to x of 1 basically means x, uh, x is nothing but your this particular list. The similarity score is represented as uh, x and uh, x of 1 is this value. Okay, so if you mention x is equal to 0, so let's say that I'll mention x of 0. So x of 0 basically means the first element. So the first element is nothing but your index. Whereas the second element is your uh, similarity score value and that is represented by this x square bracket of 1. Okay, so I am taking that value and I am arranging all the values in the reverse order that is in the descending order. So that's the meaning of this particular name. I am creating a list called a sorted similar movies in that I am sorting all the values and I am sorting based on the descending order based on this x of 1 value. x of 1 is nothing but this second value. Okay, so this is the 0th value which is the first value. This is the second value. So this will be done for all the movies and if you run this you will get a list of movies again so 68 is nothing but uh, you know the iron man movie 79 so 79 will be other movie which is very similar to the iron man movie so as you can see here now the similarity score value is very high so it is one and here it is 0 0.40 so 10.31 so on so these have higher similarity score whereas these are lower similarity score so now we are uh, arranging the movies based on the so we can say that uh, the top movies in this list uh, are similar to the one given by the user the movie given by the user is Simon right so these are the similar movies so now we need to take maybe 10 or 20 movies from this list and we can suggest that to our user so that will be our next step so this is the last part of this particular code okay so print so don't worry if you don't understand few things so once i'll complete this i'll explain all the things in order and, the, and at that time it will make uh, you know clear sense to you okay so just hang in there so print the name of similar movies based on the index so now i have the index of the movie okay so i'm using this index of the movie I'm going to find the title. So it is very simple. It is just like the one we have did before. So previously we have used the title of the movie in order to find the index and now we are going to use the index of the movie and using this index we will just find the movie name. Okay, say for example uh, if the index is 31 we just go to the data set and we will uh, you know 
look at the 31st index and we, and we will uh, see what is the corresponding title name so that will be the similar movie to the one given by the user so this will be the next step so i'll just put a text here as print movies okay so movies suggested for you so these are the movies that we are suggesting for our user who want to get some uh, you know recommendations for the movie so movie suggested for you so let's let's go to the next line in order to print the movies so i'll create i is equal to one so i'm going to create a for loop for movie in sorted sorted similar movies so i'll just complete this code and explain you what we are doing here just give me some time index is equal to movie zero and uh, title from index title from index is equal to movies data again mentioned so it's it's uh, the same thing that we have did before so previously we found the index of the movie using title now we are using the title so i mean we are using the index so we have the index value right 79 31 7 16 using these values i'm going to find the title of the movie so that's what i am doing here so movies data dot index is equal to index title dot values is equal to zero so this is actually similar to the one which we have did, uh, did before okay yeah this part is getting the index of the movie using the movie name right so this is the same thing here the only difference is that we have interchanged the index column and the title column because in this case we are uh, finding the name of the movie using the index so this should be l okay so if i is less than zero so i'm going to suggest 30 movies for the user okay based on his favorite movie so if is print i comma dot so i'm going to print the movies with the serial number title from index so you will understand once i run the code index i is equal to plus is equal to one so this is our for loop so basically what we are doing here is so now we got the list of movies in the descending order descending order means this particular this first value as a higher uh, similarity score second is is also having higher uh, similarity score but it is less than one so the first 20 movies or 30 movies can be considered as the movies which are similar to the iron man movies and it is it's not like it is similar to it it is like uh, we can say that the uh, user is going to enjoy the movie because it is similar to the one which is uh, his favorite movie okay so i'm going to take the first 30 movies from this list and i'm going to print the name so i'm taking the values individually so i will take this first element and i will take this index value alone so using this index value i will find the name of the movie from my data set so after uh, uh, so this will be the first step of the for loop so the second time the for loop is running so it will uh, go to this second element and it will, it will take the 79 and then again it will try to look at uh, the data set and find the title of the 79th movie so similarly the third step will be finding the name of this uh, movie so that's what i am doing in my for loop so i am creating i is equal to 1 so initially i am giving i is equal to 1 so and for movie in sort uh, similar movies so when when we run the for loop for first time this movie will take this particular value okay 69 1.0002 because this is the first element in the sorted similar movies list okay so this is the list we are printing and in this list i want to run the for loop and this movie will take uh, this first element okay so in this first element i don't want these two values i just want this index value alone so with this index value i can find the title right and hence i am mentioning movie of zero okay so movie of zero is nothing but this value and this is nothing but my index so that's what i am mentioning here so for movie in sorted similar movies that is for 68 comma 1.002 in sorted similar movies index is equal to movie of zero movie of zero is this value 68 okay if you mention movie of one then this will be this value okay so if you mention with uh, one is rep one represents second value zero represents first value right so if you mention movie is zero this is uh, this value now 
substitute this 68 for this index so title from index so you can just substitute this uh, you know value as 68 so it is similar to it okay so now using this uh, index value i'm going to find the title from this movies data set so that's what i am doing here and after i have find this uh, this has to be uh, run for 30 times because i want to uh, give 30 different movies for my user so that's why i'm creating this so this if condition will go as long as the i is uh, you know uh, less than 30 so each time the for loop runs i am i have given a uh, you know increment for i so for the first time the for loop runs uh, this i value will be changed to 2 so the next time the i will have the value of 2 so similarly it will go again and again this till the i value reaches 30 so this is just to you know give the number of movies so let's say that you want to give only 20 movies to your user in that case you will mention 20 here so if you want to mention just uh, 10 movies you can just uh, mention 10 here so the, uh, this if condition is just to you know uh, determine the number of movies you want to recommend for your user so that's it okay so i'll just say that i want to recommend 30 movies for my user based on the favorite movie given by him so that's what i'm doing here and let's run this so this will give all the movies we can suggest for him so title from index is not due so title from index yeah, i made a spelling mistake here okay so title from index so let's run this so these are the movies I am suggesting for my uh, user. So these movies are nothing but Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Captain America, X-Men, Apocalypse. And uh, you know, these all of these things are superhero movies, right? So that's what I have been telling you all about. So if you give a movie, this system will give you all the other similar movies. So if you mention this uh, I is less than 20, you will get 20 movies. As you can see here, okay, 20. So like it's 19 because in Python indexing starts from zero, right? So that's the reason. So you can just mention 21 if you want uh, 20 movies. So that's very simple. So I'll just uh, put this as 30. Okay, so let's run this. So I'll get 30 movies, 30 or 29 movies, which is similar to the one given by our user. So this is how our uh, movie recommendation system works. I'll just do one more thing, a uh, last thing. So I just want to uh, incorporate all the codes in a single uh, cell. So I'll just go to this just make a text here so make a text here as movie recommendation system so this is like the predictive system that we have been building in our project videos okay so that is this is similar to it recommendation system so in this part of the code so i am not going to do anything different i'm just going to copy the last part of the code and put it together so that when we run the cell it will ask the user to give some movie name so once the user gives the movie name it will uh, tell us 30 different movies which we can watch okay so we need to copy this movie name yeah from this so we want to uh, get the movie name from the user and uh, Where is this? Where is this? I'll just copy and paste this. Movie name, yeah. And then list of all the movies, all the titles. I don't want to print, uh, just want this first thing alone. So we don't want to print this, so list of all the titles. So I'll explain you what I'm doing, just, just wait for a second. So list of all the movies. And now we need to find the close match. Mm. yeah this one find close match so i'm just incorporating all the codes together that's it nothing else so index of the movie close match is equal to find close match zero and then index of the movie is equal to this and uh, the next part is similarity score <clears throat> similarity score and sorting sorted similar movies and then yeah the last step okay so when you run this code 
now this will ask you to you know enter the name of some movie so once you run this it will give you the recommendations for you so that's what we are doing we are just incorporating all the codes together so i'll run this so i i need to uh, give the name of my favorite movie so i'll just say that my favorite movie is batman okay so we know that batman is also a superman movie i mean superhero movie right so we get the movies such as iron man and okay just a second i think uh, it is printing the same thing yeah one second title from index uh, should i change something just a second and I'll, I'll just try to give some other movie name avatar yeah so i just need to change few things so i'll just pass the video and i'll just look for the error here so actually the problem is i just missed a particular line so i i didn't include this uh, similarity score line so that's the problem i just need to include this line as well okay so i'll just paste this now so this should come here yeah so now let's run this so first i'll say that my favorite movie is iron man okay so let's see so these are the suggestions i'm getting and i know that these all these are superhero movies and they are like you know similar to the movie so we can say that the user is going to like the movie and now i'll just run this cell again and now i'm going to give a different movie name so here i'll give batman now now as you can see here the suggestions have changed so first is batman batman returns batman and robin the dark knight races etc so most of these are uh, dc movies so these are not marvel movies like these are more related to batman right so superman movies and etc so again all of these are uh, you know superhero movies but they are uh, more related to batman now i'll just give uh, avatar movie so we know that avatar is a space related space and fantasy related movie right so i'll just give avatar now i'm get the you know i'm getting movies like avatar alien aliens guardians of galaxy and all these movies are based on space and space sciences etc right so this is how you can create your movie recommendation system so once you give uh, the favorite movie of the person so it will give you suggestions uh, that you want okay so now i'll just you know explain you um, clearly all the things so i'll just give you, uh, you know explain you in order what we have done from the starting so it's just like a recap so please watch this then only you can understand the code completely okay so first basically what we are doing is we are importing some libraries so i think we haven't used numpy library so if you want you can just remove this but uh, you know yeah so we have imported numpy libraries pandas diffflip so this diffflip is used in order to get the close match so we know where we are getting the close match right so in a particular part of the code we will try to uh, ask the user to enter his uh, favorite movie and we will try to see whether this particular uh, you know movie is present in our data set so we try to find the close match and for this we need this uh, diffflip so diffflip we are using this get close matches and this is the reason we are importing this diffflip library okay and we need this tf idf vectorizer in order to transform the textual data to numerical uh, feature vectors so once you have this numerical features vector it will be easier for us to find the cosine similarity values so that is the reason for this and then we have this cosine similarity we know that it is used to find the similarity score value if the similarity score value is i for two movies then these two movies are similar to each other then there is a high probability that the user is going to like that movie so that's the idea and then we have the next step is data collection and processing so we have the data in a csv file called as movies.csv and we are loading the data from the csv file to a data frame called as movies data and then we are printing the first five rows of the column so sorry the first five rows of the data frame and uh, we have discussed what are the different columns that we have in our data set so we have various columns such as the genre the keywords uh, tag lines etc <clears throat> right after that we try to check how many rows and columns that we have and we found out that totally there are 4803 rows and 24 columns so these are the basic things that we do with all the data sets so uh, this is completely fine i think everyone understands up to this part so this is how things will get a bit tricky okay so the next thing is selecting the important features so as i have told you you don't need all the columns so, so certain columns such as the id of the movie and uh, you know certain index is not that much relevant if you want to recommend the movie so i'm just uh, 
choosing uh, the relevant features alone. So I'm choosing the features such as genres, keywords, tagline, cast and director. So you can also try the same code. You can just include some other columns as well. Okay. So you can try that. So you, you will you will get some more, uh, you know, recommendations and maybe your recommendations may be better than what I have did because I've just considered these five columns alone. So you can also include the description as well, this overview as well. So you may get a better result. Okay and then what i'm doing is for all these five columns i'm re replacing the missing values with null string so that is the this part i'm instead of doing it separately i'm just putting all those together in a for loop so that is this step and then i'm combining all the selected features so i'm just putting together or concatenating all the five columns together for each row so now uh, all the columns will be combined for each rows and then i am converting this textual data to numerical uh, values called as features vector using this tf idea vectorizer and i am transforming uh, fitting and transforming the data so this is how we will use this uh, vectorizer function so we will fit and transform this combined features value and this will give you the feature vector so it will be in the form of numerical values and uh, we are finding the cosine similarity from this values and this is the similarity score okay and the next part is getting the name uh, you know getting the name favorite you no know, name of the favorite movie of a particular user and here uh, the user can uh, you know give the name of, of which the movie they like and now we are creating a list so this list is created with name of the all the movies that is present in our data set so we know that our data set contains about 5000 movies right i just wanted to get this title alone so you can see the title so we have this we have two columns one is original title and the another one is uh, the title so original title can be the title which was named uh, before the movie has been released this title is the one which has been uh, given to the movie when it has been released so you know in some cases the they may people may change the title right so at the last minute so we want this title column so i'm uh, uh, taking a list i'm creating a list which contains all the title names and the reason i'm doing this is i want to find the close match of the movie name given by the user so i know that uh, my user has given the name iron man i want to compare it with all the movie names and i find that there are three movies which are similar to the one given by the user and i'm just taking the first value along so in order to find this uh, close match i'm using this diffleep dot get close matches movie name so this is nothing but the one given by your user and the list of all title is the you know the, all the movie names present in your data set so you get all these three values and i'm just choosing the first value which is iron man and now I'm trying to find the index of the Iron Man movie, okay? So because only if I find the index, I can compare it with all the other movies and can find the similarity score, okay? So I'm trying this uh, two lines is used in order to find the index of the movie using the title. Okay, so I found the index of the Iron Man movie is 68. So if you uh, use Batman or uh, Avatar movie, you will get different indexes, okay? So you can also instead of Iron Man, try avatar or batman or any other movies pirates of the caribbean etc try other movies okay and once i get the index i want to get the similarity score of iron man so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to compare this iron man movies with all the other 4800 movies and for each uh, movies i'm going to get the similarity score if the similarity score is very less that means that particular movie is not uh, you know similar to iron man and if i suggest that the user may not like it if the similarity score is high then that movie is similar to this iron man movie and there is a more chance that that person is going to like that movie so that's the reason i'm creating this enumerate list so i'm looping over over the list and this enumerate will give you the index or it will give you the count how many times the list is running and again it will give the value so we need two values right one is the index and the other one is the value the similarity score and you can get this using this enumerate function alone so that is the reason we are doing this and then we are sorting the values based on the descending order of the similarity score so this order is based on the order that is present in your data set so avatar pirates of the caribbean etc okay but this order i want to uh, make this in a descending order okay yeah this one so for this i'm using this lambda here x is to x x uh, of one is nothing but the second value so i want to sort it based on this particular value in the reverse order reverse order is nothing but the descending order and you will uh, your movies get arranged in the descending order of your uh, you know comparisons or the similarity score after that i'm uh, creating a for loop where i'm i'm just uh, getting this index value and using this index value i'm finding the title of the movie from my movies data frame okay so that's what we are doing here and we are doing this 30 different times uh, because i wanted to uh, you know give 30 suggestions for my user if i want to give 20 suggestions i will change this to 20 and so on now it, our uh, code will output this and now i am uh, you know putting all those codes together from this uh, 
yeah movie name so the part where we are getting the movie name from the user i'll just make a text here as getting the user value or uh, getting i'll just put the same thing getting the movie name from the user okay so we need to copy all the codes from this part you can just uh, you know you don't need to include this print options so i have incorporated incorporated this print to show what this list contains okay so you can just ignore this print lines and you can copy and paste the other lines so all the other lines are important for us and when you put all these things together you can run this and it will ask you to enter a movie name so if i enter it as avatar i will get suggestions of the movie which are similar to avatar which are related to space and so on okay and uh, i can just run this again and i can uh, include uh, you know movies like batman and it will give me some other suggestions which are related to batman okay so this is how you can create a movie recommendation system and uh, i hope everyone uh, everyone is clear up to this part so this is not the end of this project so as you can see here this data set contains only 4803 movies right but we know that there are more than that so you can also try to uh, you know increase the data set you can try to increase the data points that you have you can create some other data set with with uh, more films and you can just combine it with this particular data set and if you do that you will have more uh, movies in your data frame or uh, one thing that you can do is if you are uh, if you are you know someone who watches bollywood movie you can curate a data set like this for uh, bollywood movies and you can do the same for bollywood movies or you can do this for tamil films or etc okay so this is what you can do from your side okay so this will be a very good interesting task for you where you can create a system that can give the suggestions of hindi movies if a user give the you know name of a hindi movie that he or she likes okay so this is how you can uh, build your uh, recommendation system and if you have any doubts please reach out to me uh, in the data science 2323 at gmail.com i'll give the you know gmail address in the video description you can check that out i'll try to you know reply to you as soon as possible and uh, that's it from my side and i hope you every one of you understand everything completely and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching